Hello Comic Frontline Universe and welcome back to another comic book review and in this review I'll be reviewing The Last Days of Ant-Man One-Shot. This book is a finale to the current ongoing series or the current chapter for Ant-Man and it's also an intro and a lead-in to The Astonishing Ant-Man which will be coming out in two short months in October. So I decided I didn't check out, I tried the first volume or I tried the last uh, volume of Ant-Man didn't really get into it. A lot of people have been talking really great stuff about it. Same like Miss Marvel. So I decided this one shot is my perfect opportunity to jump into the Ant-Man universe and see if I'll be interested in the Astonishing Ant-Man, which is coming out in two months. So like I said, this concludes everything that's been going on in Ant-Man now. And then at the end of the book, we get a setup towards the new uh, Ant-Man series that is coming. So we got Hank Pym who was hired by one of his, by the woman that actually was investing in... Now, I haven't been reading Ant-Man, so I apologize in advance if I'm a little stupid or missing facts here, but Ant-Man opened up, or Hank opened up, a Ant-Man security... Um, oh, what was it? Ant-Man security... Um, solutions, basically security through him. And um, he's having a meeting with her... Things are not going well in this, obviously. He's got no clients. And then this woman hires him to steal back a medallion that was taken from her. And that's basically the beginning of the book. And then we find out this medallion grants youth back to all of the really old superheroes from way back in the 1950s. We find out that the woman that he's working for actually was um, Miss Patriot, who worked with Captain America, not Steve Rogers, Captain America, the other one. And she has premonitions, and she says that she knows the world is going to end in another day. By, by tomorrow, the world is going to be over, so this is why she did this one last time, this one last thing. And nobody believes her, but Ant-Man kind of does, and he tries to see his daughter. You know, He tries to go to see the daughter. He, gets, um, he comes face-to-face -face with the mom. And this reminds me a lot of what I just saw in Fear the Walking Dead, as a matter of fact, episode 2. Uh, he shows up at the doorstep. The mom's like, why are you here, Scott? We had an agreement. You know, you can't just show up whenever you want and want to be in Cassie's life and, you know, be here for Cassie. And he's explaining, look, I can't explain why. I just really want to see my daughter and just for a few moments just to say, you know, just to talk with her. And in the end, it turns out she's not there. And he gets the door slammed in his face. The ending now is what leads into Astonishing Ant-Man. Ant-Man goes to a party, which apparently was in his house, he claims, and he has a little to do with, oh god, uh, the Beetle. Now, this is the daughter of Tombstone Beetle, and she believes that the world's ending. This whole party is about the last night on Earth, and they're partying, and let's just say Hank does something by the end of this issue that he might, or already probably does, regret, and then it says, um... Read Secret Wars to learn how Scott and everybody else survives. And then join us in October for Astonishing Ant-Man issue number one, which has a bunch of supervillains in front of Ant-Man, but him standing there with his fingers crossed. And the letter to the readers is, what could that mean? And I'm interested. I'm actually very interested in seeing where this goes. I was not a real fan, like I said, of the Ant-Man volume. This story definitely gets a three out of five stars also. Very interesting read. If you're an Ant-Man fan, you're going to love this book. If you are a fan, by the way, let me show you guys some artwork from the book before I forget again. There's some artwork. If you like Ant-Man, you'll definitely be checking this out. If you're interested in jumping on to the next volume of Ant-Man, such as myself, do you need this book? No. Would it be nice to read, though? Yes. It was a very nice one-shot. Obviously, because I didn't read the previous volume of Ant-Man, there were a few things that I was kind of like up in the air with because I didn't know about it. But still, I felt like I jumped in really quickly, and I got up to speed pretty quickly. And it was really good. Lots of dialogue, lots of stuff I left out on purpose for you guys to check out. And with that, that's it for this review, guys. As always, don't forget to check out ComicFrontline.com. Lots and lots and lots of content, almost daily, popping up on Frontline.com, uh, on our YouTube channel, everywhere. Tonight, Tuesday night, is the live show. Don't miss out on that. We got lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, we were not live last week, so this week we got to make up for it. And we got lots to talk about, by the way, also. Uh, don't forget to also check out Zone4Podcast.com. Lots of new podcasts coming your guys' way 
soon. And Frontline Gaming Zone, we got lots of games coming your guys' way. Gaming uh, season is about to begin, the fourth quarter where all the heavy games are coming. They're coming quickly. We're already in September. October is where we start getting those heavy hitting games. Until next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next review.